Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about class methods and class variables. Now we are deep diving into classes things guys and we, are, we have learned a lot of things. I've also started oops concepts in my Python playlist itself. Uh, now after this we'll be going towards more advanced things. So please make sure that you understand what is the basic difference between class methods and class variables and what all things we'll try to see over here right it'll be pretty much amazing make sure that you watch this video till the end you'll definitely learn a lot of things now to begin with what i have done is that guys i've just created a class car i've created a variable remember this is just like a variable okay if you want to create a variable you just use a variable name you assign some values i'll tell you what is the importance of this particular variable over here i've taken the base price of this particular car or whatever object of this car will be created the basic base price will be this much okay now after this what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create an initialization constructor okay after this the initialization constructor will be my windows doors power okay how many windows are there how many doors are there what is the power of this particular car after this i'm writing self dot windows is equal to windows self dot doors is equal to door self dot power is equal to power remember these are my instance variables okay that is getting created now after this, I have also created a class, uh, a function which is present inside this particular class, which is called as what's the base price. And I've just printed that the base price is this particular value that is self dot base price. Remember, in order to access this class variable, there are two ways. One is by creating one instance. Suppose if I write car car one is my instance. And suppose if I write like uh, I have four comma five comma two thousand. Okay, this is the variable that I'm initializing. And if I write car one dot base price if i execute like this then you will be able to see that the base price will be able to get it this is one way the other way is basically to use the car class directly and then directly use the base price if i also use like this i will be also able to access this particular class variable but usually what happens is that what is the best way what we should do and all I'll tell you in just a while but just understand if you really want to access this variable you have two ways either by creating an instance or directly calling the car class itself now remember let me just consider one scenario okay I'm just going to delete this because uh, I, I, I just want to tell you one scenario suppose right now in 2021 the base price is this much now probably in the next year when 2022 will come what I want to do is that we need to add an inflation of the base price by 10%. Okay, I'll just give you this particular scenario. Okay, and remember uh, in 2022, whenever we try to create an instance of this, by default, the base price should be the recent price once we update it, you know, uh, by 10% itself, which is basically the inflation rate. I'm just taking this as an example. So to do that, we introduce something called as class methods. Okay, and in order to use or create a class methods, we basically use something called as uh, uh, decorator, which is called as at the rate class method. Understand the scenario right now, guys. What I want to do is that every year I want to add 10% of inflation rate. This is my condition over here. Uh, and in order to add it on the class variables, we will just not assign it somewhere. We will just not change the values inside a function, but instead we'll try to use the class method itself over here. Now, here I'm going to define the class method and I'm going to say definition revise base price. Suppose this is my uh, function that I'm creating, which is again a class method itself. And here I'm going to give two parameters. One, instead of giving self parameter, now I'll give the class parameter. This class, whenever we are defining the class method, guys, we have to provide this CLS parameter. Whenever we supply self, that basically says that it is with respect to the instance of this class. Whenever I provide CLS, this is basically with respect to the class type. Okay, this is basically with this is directly referring to this particular class, like how we access car dot base price, right? This CLS will be referring to this particular class. Now, apart from that, I will also tell my inflation rate. So I'll say my inflation rate. What is my inflation? And here now what I'm saying that as every like right now it is 2020. Suppose we go to 2021, I need to change my base price. Probably I'll be changing my base price with the help of class method. And this will be very, very handy when I'll show you the example of initializing things. Just give me a second with for that. Now, suppose I want to update this particular base price. So I'll write CLS dot base price is equal to, please listen to it. It is very, very important. So I'll write CLS dot base price plus inflation. Okay. 
plus inflation. I'll not just write plus inflation. See, I'll say that CLS dot base price multiplied by inflation. Okay, suppose my inflation is 10%. I need to find out what is the 10% of this particular value. And that value, I'll be getting it over here. And then I'll be adding that to my base price. So this is what my class method is doing. Okay. If I want to change this value such that in 2022, if whenever I make an instance of this particular car class, the base price should be the updated price or the revised price. And for that, I'm using this class method. See this guys. Now, let me just define car one is equal to, okay. Car one is equal to some uh, values over here, like four comma five comma 2000 suppose 2000 is my power now if i execute this over here suppose my car one dot base price is something like one lakh inr okay now remember suddenly now we went into 2022 obviously uh 20 in 2022 i told you that because of the inflation we definitely need to increase the base price so what i'll do is that instead of just creating this object i'm just going to delete it instead of doing this you know what I will do is that I will say car dot revise base price. And here I'm just going to say that this is my inflation rate 0 0.10. Now, once I execute this, so here I'm probably getting an error saying that name inflation is not defined. Why? Uh, okay. So this will be my CLS uh, inflation inflation. Oh, sorry. The parameter is a little bit wrong over here. So I'll just make it as inflation. Let me execute this once again. And here now let me just execute this. this there was a small smelling mistake so here you can now see if i write car dot base price it is showing one uh, one lakh ten thousand see there is an increase in point one zero now whenever i create an instance saying as car one is equal to car with uh, four comma five comma two thousand and if i try to execute it now if i try to see car one dot the base price here you'll be able to see that it has got updated it has got updated see i can also call this particular method by using my uh, my by my instance like car one i can definitely call it if you want to see this particular example see this i'll say that okay car one dot revise base price again i want to increase it to 10 percent okay now see this this is also a way to call it but in the real world practice this is not used guys Whenever we want to do an updation with respect to the class variables, we may use class method and always it is done by using this particular technique where we are using the class name dot that particular function name. Yes, we can do this. This also see in if I now go and see my car one dot uh, what is my base price here you can see that it has got still updated and whenever I create my next instances also suppose if I create my next instance like class three suppose I have three comma four comma two thousand right even though i create over here and if i try to see the base price the base price will also get updated it is also possible by the instance but usually in the real world scenario by considering the good practice it is not done in that particular way but i hope you have understood why do we use this particular class method and how it is basically used why we have used cls over here specifically when we are using this cls and when we are updating this particular values once it is updated then any time I create any new instance, that new value of that particular base price will be updated. Now here in this particular case, even though I used this instance, so where I changed my base price by again 10%, my base price was this much. Then again, I created a CLAR3 instance. And then that time you could see that my new base price was something like this, right? This, you can also call it like this, or you can also call it like this. But in the good practice where I've seen many good developers where I've seen projects, they basically use this particular technique, right? So I hope you have got an idea of class method. What is this? This is basically a decorator. Try to see some of my examples in decorator, which I've explained in my previous session, in my uh, complete Python playlist. But now I hope you have got an idea what is class variables and what is class methods. Class methods definitely can be used to update the class variable only once so that whenever you are creating the newer instances, automatically that value will get updated. Now I don't have to do anything, you know, as the year changes, I'll just go and execute this revised base price again and again, that whole base price value will get changed. And then after this, I have any kind of method, I can do whatever I want. Okay. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.